uh, this is the simplest form of a MIDI file. I'll show you, for example, a different version of the same tune, this one. So no. So this is another version of the uh, Kukarachi. So you see the mixer is full of tracks. You see every one of these is a different instrument. So jazz guitar, brass section, strings. So <coughs> so I will go back to standard. So this one was great because I pressed this here. Whatever track I set here will be also great on the main screen, so it's easily identifiable for you. I'll escape key, clear up the selection. So let's go. So what you saw here, uh, this LED shows you the activity of each of these tracks. Tracks. So I will start deleting some of them. For example, I don't know. You can always use the. I'll I put this tool again. So you can use the right mouse button to check to which track this node belongs. So this is track 7. So here, double click. Strings. I don't really want strings. So I will just, for the time being, I will not display it and mute it. So this one is a brass section. Well, I'll show you some hotkeys here. The display, if you switch, if you click here, will turn on or off the display here and even then you can move around using this to see where are those. For example this one, well, I already removed it. This is a brass section. It sounds okay. Music box. I'll display it and we'll hit the control key here. It means I will solo that part. So start from here. I think that's my melody. Let me see. Well, right. Let's solo this one. And I think that they're repeated, so I'll remove this track. I'll just delete it. Channel 10 is usually drums. You will see these X symbols here. I will show you that they are the rhythm part. This is the bass. So I'll keep it. I'll show everything. Jazz guitar. Old solo. You can do it while playing. gray ones. You can also go here and hide this track, show this track only, or just delete it. So again, this box will be the melody, brass section, 
things. Take one to do it. Okay, so we ended up with four tracks. Let's play everything together again. Oh, this is volume, so everything will play it. I show all. Which is diatonic. So let's play. Okay, so now we have a new file with a much nicer background. Now let's suppose that now we've been working with tracks. This track, let's, I'll name it harmonica. Actually, it can change the sound of it. And now it's music box, the sound. I'll put harmonica on it. you want to this is another tool very useful if you have this kind of single line melodies you can create a text tab out of these notes so I'll press this button here yes okay so now you have a text down here that will show you the tab and you can even open this one by the way if you have a Medify with lyrics. You can use this window to see the lyrics. So if I press play, okay. Well, I think you've seen more or less what this software can do for you and how much fun you can have with it. There are many things that. I will not talk about now because of specifics and sometimes I, I feel the need to have something on the software I yeah, just add it for myself it's not really de documented for example I use a drum machine that, and sometimes I want to download uh, MIDI parts to the drum machine I put these kind of uh, these two tools here for MIDI clock or things like that you will not care about that. You will be able to discover all this by yourself. Okay.